I'm grateful for that, to be there. And I tell them that I do make the sacrifice. I don't eat too much. Not only for spiritual reasons, but so they can have their milk for sure. As you know, we need a reason for the food emergency. And what we're going to say here is we're down to no income and a child support of two twenty a month, which you haven't seen since September of 2000. Before I had difficulty, it was the dinners at the table, and there was never a concern on food with my children when they were little. But now it's, you know, anything to fill them. We had a fire. We were burnt out in our home. We lost uh, all of our possessions. Okay. We're going to get your medicine. We're going to take your medicine. Once you pull behind, it's very hard to catch back up. I mean, I fight for to get milk in the house. Uh, they only gave me like 32 hours, 28, 24. And in a matter of three weeks, I went, went under. I was laid off, but maybe not even, a, not even a full six months after it hurt. And all the things that we got, all the things we accumulated, and the bills that we had, we couldn't maintain them anymore. And it seemed like just like standing on top of a rock that's sitting on top of a little pedestal. It all just came crashing down at once. And as you can see, things are not quite as good as we wanted them to be. It's just like we're just starting out all over again. You know, bless the school we're about to receive the nourishment of our bodies in Christ's name. Amen. 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 It's so hard to describe. Yeah, it's, it's hard to even explain it. You know, I mean, first you can do the knots in your stomach. I mean, so much water you can drink. You know, you try to fill up on uh, whatever you can. You know, I mean, you just want to take that. Uh, it's just an annoying feeling. It's hard. It's hard to describe it. It changes your emotion. It changes your personality. And sometimes when you see a person fighting and angry and angry, you know he's hungry. A lot of nights that I have to eat just to make sure that the rest of them have enough. Are we hearing the words uh, of someone who's really, really angry? Mm -hmm. And are we hearing the words of someone who's very sad for her children? Mm -hmm. You know, you get fed up and the kids are crying. You gotta have that again. It's like, okay, you know, I'm frustrated at that point. It's like, we're friends out. You know, they'll sit there and they'll get offered something to eat. And I just want to climb in my bed, pull the covers over my head, and hope that tomorrow's better. Sometimes when we're at the store, if you want something that I don't have the money to get for them, you know, other people look at you like, you know, this is your kid, why don't, you know. This one here used to be a very happy child all the time. Nowadays, you can barely even smile all the time. Are you irritated because of your situation? Sometimes. When 8 o'clock comes, I think that's when I finally breathe. Everybody's in bed, still have my power on. Nobody's coming out now, so. Looking at their faces can tell me that they're like struggling for us to survive. There are a lot of people like ourselves out here that are working class people. Hi, John. Hi, how are you? All right, how are you? They have thrived at one point in life and had things happen to them and just, just didn't have the means anymore. Okay, can we get you a spoon? They have to suck their pride in it. These pantries, they make people feel welcome. It's not to be ashamed of. I'm just John. I'm just going about my life, going to work every day, coming home, making sure I eat something good. And having kids, I have to do whatever's possible to survive and to give them a higher quality of life. 
it's just not the family that I used to have. You don't have to be a friend to see her and have one of them that do you? I just hope that I wouldn't run into anybody that I knew. Um, then after seeing people that run it, friendly, consoling, and they took the groceries in my car. And I came home with a trunk full of groceries and I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic. They helped me a lot. That's all the hard is for me to come up there. And when she seen me cry, she knew all the hardest. The hardest for me. To go up there and ask for me. I did that one. I wish my daughter grew up when I grew up, but we do the best we can.